Good afternoon. Thank you for joining this week's TLM podcast. I'm Xander. I'm Michaela. I'm and, and today we have a, a guest with us, our new AP, Dr. White. Welcome to the TLM podcast, Dr. White. Hello. Thank you for having me. Thank you for allowing us to interview you today. It's my pleasure. Let's get started. Number one, how did you become an admin at TLM? Um, well, it was just a combination of different experiences. So, of course, you had to go to school and receive certain certifications. But I was at a school teaching middle school, um, and then I got an opportunity to become a dean and then an assistant principal at high school. And then I transitioned to elementary school, and then I got a call for an opportunity that was here at Twin Lakes Academy Middle School, and I accepted the offer, and I'm glad I did it. So, uh, what exactly do you do as an AP? As an AP, I would say you do everything. So, you sometimes you have to meet with students, sometimes you have to help students with work, sometimes you have to provide discipline to students, sometimes you have to reward students. Um, I also work with testing. So, just a lot of the things that help the school, help us move the school and operate the school on a daily basis. I do those things. Um, if you ever need a computer, if your computer's broken and you need to switch it out, I do those things. So basically everything that you would do that you would do to assist the principal as she wants to, has a vision for the school, that's where the assistant principals come in to help us help her carry out her vision. What kind of ideas do you have that could benefit TLAM? So one of my greatest ideas I believe is just trying to establish positive incentives for the school. Um, that's something that I see that we can really improve on. So just when students, we want students to do certain things, how can we encourage them, encourage them in a positive manner instead of it always being a negative? So if you do something, what reward would you get to build that intrinsic motivation in students that becomes, ex that extrinsic motivation that becomes intrinsic? So I definitely want to see how we can motivate students positively. Um, and just the school is really good already, so just help build on what's already here. How can you help students succeed? By being a partner to them. Um, so, and by a partner, I mean anything that they need, I'm here to support them, whether it's academics, it's behaviors, just a sound just a sounding board, whatever I can be to them, um, and even working with teachers to make sure that teachers are delivering high quality instruction to them every day. That's how I can best support students. Oh, and also, how can you help teachers be the best they can be? So one, definitely making sure that those off peers that we call common planning, those planning peers that are sitting with teachers and I'm helping them with the material that they deliver to you all every day. Um, but also, I will like to just, sorry. Um, so another thing is just helping with student behaviors, because that's a thing. We have to make sure that students are doing the right things in class so that teachers can teach. But just making sure that I'm available to them and supporting them in any way that I can. What do you do in your free time? In my free time, I do a lot. So um, I attended college on an athletic scholarship, so I love sports. So I train athletes, but I also, I'm an avid traveler. I like to leave the country at least three times a year. So any chance I get, I'm always traveling. And I like to eat. I don't eat a wide variety of things, but the things I like, I try to find those things everywhere I go. So, do you have any motivation for the uh, students at home that, you know, might want to be in a place of power than their adult years? Um, I would say learn how to be a great follower first. If you cannot follow and really take advantage of that experience and following others and 
learning from them, then when you become a leader, you will struggle. So you have to remember those experiences and gain everything you can while you're a follower. So that way, when you step into the role of a leader, you're fully prepared. So I would say if you have ambitions to become a great leader, remember what it's like to be a follower and not in a position of power. Do well by people at your levels where you're not in power. So that way you remember that you must continue to do right by people when you're in positions of power. Thank you, Dr. White, for letting us interview you. Uh, yeah, it's been an honor uh, talking to you. Thank you for your time. And thank you for letting us um, share the questions with you. My pleasure. Thank you all for having me. And also have a curiosity in learning. So we want to thank our panelists, Logan, Xander, and Michaela. So we want to thank Dr. White for his recent history here at Twin Lakes. Thank you for allowing our kids to interview you. Y'all have a great evening.